Hello, this is Tracy with Touch of God International Ministries. Welcome to the night of prayer and intercession. And tonight's teaching is living your faith under pressure. And how do we sustain living under the pressure? Living our faith under that pressure. But anyway, this is again about Daniel. Any of you ever any of you ever gone through pressure and you feel like you were going to break? Well, God always has something because we can do all things through him. He is for us and not against us. And he has a plan for each of our lives. And he doesn't put more pressure on us than that we cannot handle. Praise God. Because we serve an awesome God. But he always has a plan and a purpose for our lives. For each and every one of you that are out there. And for the ages, his plan covers every detail, every need, every problem in your life, if we trust him. And so how do we deal with pressure? We have to submit to God, take time to pray for strength every day when we're going through horrible times in our life. And I, believe you me, we've all gone through them. There's not one person that escapes those horrible times in our life. All right, someone just sent a friend request. Anyway, we got to do this right now. So we're looking at Daniel's life. This is a, during the time of King Jericho, you know, 605 B.C. The Babylonian army rumbled through the, across the land of Israel and took Israel to captivity. And they destroyed Jerusalem. It laid waste, the villages, the countryside, and Daniel and his people were captured and led away in chains in captivity. Can you imagine being led away in chains? <laughs> I cannot imagine, but it does happen. In other countries, it does happen when there's civil war going on. Look at Iraq. Look at some of those countries. Though Daniel was taught, was taught, was in an area, he was considered an alien because he lived a very strict way of life in Jerusalem compared to the rest of the world that was so different. Have you ever been to other countries and seen their cultures, how different it, they can be? I mean, I've been to the Philippines, they can be very different. I think the most different place I've ever been was in China. Food is different, their culture is different. Everything is different. Here we have toilet paper. Do you know in some countries they use their left hand to clean themselves? So if you shake your hand with your left hand, it's it's a very insulting if you don't know the cultures. That's why it's good when you go into foreign countries to know where you're going. Even though Daniel experienced suffering and anxiety and humiliation and persecution as a captive of the Babylonians, God had a plan for Daniel's life. It was not a it was not a backup plan because that's just not the way the word is. God's plan is always the best. God did not have to have to shift from plan A to plan B in his life because the unexpected circumstances. So the Babylonian invasion did not come as a surprise to God because God was already sending his prophets to warn the Jerusalem people. All the events in Daniel's life were accounted for by God, and he worked all of those together in Daniel's life to accomplish his positive purpose in a negative world, a strange culture. God had a plan to use Daniel in a strong witness for his truth and for the strong encouragement for his people, even though they were exiled in a heathen land. I mean, can you imagine? I've been in other places. So this is, you know, this is during the time of Daniel. He was a praying man. He was a faithful man. He read the word. He was used to the cultures and the training of Jerusalem. He was probably being raised up to be a rabbi. I'm not for sure what he was being raised up, but he was in the house of God. And so this is the, during the time of Nebuchadnezzar. And the king commanded Ashpenaz, 
his chief enoch to bring some of the people of israel both royal family and the nobilities and the use without blemish a good appearance skillful in their in all wisdom endowed with knowledge understanding and learning competent to stand in the king's palace to teach them the literature and the language of the chaldeans the king assigned to them a daily portion of food that the gate that the king ate that was wine that they drank and the meat that he ate daily they were to be educated for three years and at the end they were going to stand before the king among these were daniel Hananiah, michelle ezra the tribe of judah and the chief of the enix gave them names daniel he was he was called Bet Shemer, I just I probably murdered that one. Hananiah was called Shadrach. Michelle, Michelle was called Meshach, and Ezra was called Abednego. This is in Daniel's one one through seven. God, because the because those men were educated, they were trained in Jerusalem, probably noble families, probably from a long line of rabbis. So God provided Daniel in exile. He placed Daniel in the king's most elite training and education program. That's favor. Why do you think that happened? Because these men were faithful to God. They did not compromise their life during no matter how much the pressure was in life. They were faithful to God. They, I'm sure they prayed daily. They prayed and they stayed strong before the Lord. Hi, Tandy. So... That's why God sustained them during hard times because Daniel was faithful to him. And because he was faithful to God and faithful in prayer, he was raised up before the king, Nebuchadnezzar, was able to go through training, was able to stand before him, committed. God elevated Daniel to a position of far reaching to impact and influence. The people of the Chaldeans. Not only did Daniel influence the effect of the king and through the king, the entire kingdom of Babylon, but his influence had echoed down through the ages. We read about him in the word of God, affecting millions of believers today, including you and me today. So Daniel's role, being a man of wisdom, a, a man of vision that could read vision, see visions and, and interpret dreams an example of us is the power and, and how was he because he was a praying man an example to us of the power of one person to make a difference wouldn't you like to know that your life can make a difference but it takes being committed to god and not allowing compromise in your life choosing to pray no matter how hard times get not turning your back getting mad at god or blaming god for your trouble his story speaks to us across the ages and reminds us of god is able to do through the life of one yielded faithful servant faithful servant that prayed daily a faithful servant that would not compromise no matter how hard times got and Daniel went through it as we witness in the life and the committed young man that he was let's open our minds to see and believe that God can do anything absolutely anything in our lives no matter what it can look bleak today but tomorrow can be a blessing it can all change in a in a flip just like that but God honors those that honor him and we honor him through prayer it's being faithful to him it's that persistent prayer so one of the key lessons we can learn from daniel's life is that god is with us in the times of trials persecution and temptation and i believe you me we're all tempted does it but he will not give us more than we want not unless we entertain that into temptation you know it takes five steps from temptation to become an action so that's why it's important to cast down imaginations and not play or think about those temptations because they will take you to sin. Temptation is not a sin. So we can always count on God to have a plan and a purpose.
for the difficult circumstances we go in life that we face that we all face one time or another his purposes are ultimately for eternal good and that's how we have to look at the the trials and the tribulations we go through there is a ter- eternal purpose in them i've learned in my older age okay lord i'm going through a hard time what lesson can i learn how can that how can this make me a better person so god's power is never wasted god's plan is never thwarted everything he does is focused on the purposes and, and his purposes is not bound by any finite time or fixed place god's purposes are for eternity no matter what happens to you if you will stand firm to god's principles as daniel did if you will trust god to work it out your situation and what's all no matter what's around you what it looks like quit looking at it, look at god keep praying keep standing keep believing god will turn it around like it did like he did for daniel you can have 100 percent confidence that what god has planned for your life will have an eternal impact i mean i wish my life could make that kind of impact so this is great news to all of us it means that you and god lock arms your finite earthly arms linked with his infinite ways that's everlasting that's perfect per- perfect that you that you cannot fail is and how we lock arms we pray that you will have an impact on the world you have an impact on eternity every act of kindness you perform every word of blessing you speak every stand you take for truth and righteousness and every godly relation you maintain becomes a building block god uses to construct his kingdom in this life you may experience what looks like a setback a failure the end of everything but god has something that we don't always understand that means sometimes you have to lean on his understanding you can't lean on your understanding you may be surprised by the events in your life the outcome of it but nothing surprises god because he's totally in control so take heart that you're never alone you're not abandoned it might feel dark you might be in that deep valley your faithfulness and willingness to stand against the pressure and persecution will not go unnoticed with god maybe with man it will but we're serving him so you are connected to limitless limitless god you are connected to a limitless god the power he makes available to you is unlimited as god himself i mean let's look at the story of at the persecution they went through they were through i mean the king offered them wine and meat and daniel refused it because i'm sure the meat was dedicated to a false god he wasn't going to defile himself plus it wasn't clean meat and it was a law for them i mean it was told for them to eat it Abednego and meshach and and um were thrown into the fire and they did not burn daniel was thrown in the lion's den and he was not eaten by the the by the lion the mouth was shut so we have faith and our hope is in god not in the world not in our husbands not in our boss not in our jobs nothing is permanent nothing is for secure is for sure it can change like that everything can change in an instant but god is consistent god is eternal god is for you and he's not against you so the thing is is during the persecution during hard times that is when we're tempted to compromise our walk don't compromise stay faithful to him believe in him don't blame god for your troubles don't i've learned not to question him anymore okay lord like i said earlier what nugget can i learn from this hard time that i'm going through what can i do that's different so praise god we have a god that's awesome 
and yet there's no and when you trust in him and you stand like flint and believe in him he will he will carry you through the fire he will carry you through the waters he will carry you through the trials he will carry you through the persecution and he will help you stand in the temptation but our mind is very powerful and you have to keep your mind on Christ and you cannot play those things those temptations those weak points that we all go through Meshach Shadrach and Bendigo stayed strong they chose not to eat the meat and drink the wine they wanted to stay faithful to their Lord and they still had favor with the king and they were raised up because when they didn't burn can you imagine what the look was on the king's face so praise god so living your faith under pressure and the only way to stay keep our faith under pressure is praying praying and standing and believing and getting our eyes off the situation and keeping our eyes on him and seeing that he is eternal and what's the circumstance is not eternal it's only temporarily this concludes Praise our God. show tonight i want to thank you each and every one of you please check out our website at healingdeliverance.net to learn about our ministry and also about prayer and intercession.